this is a nice easy hypothesis test so here's basically what's going on you take a sample you calculate the pmcc that's the product moment correlation coefficient and you see what you get and if you get something the biggest you can get is one that's perfect positive correlation it means the scatter graph would be literally a line which have a positive gradient or if you get minus one then your scatter graph is literally a line so the the data is literally linearly correlated whereas obviously in real life data is going to vary a little bit from a line and this measures how far it varies from a line now 0.78 is pretty good that's pretty high that's near one so we might say look i've got my sample i've done the pmcc the pmcc is 0.78 therefore there is likely to be a linear relationship in the whole population so the difference between R, which is my sample PMCC, and rho, which is the population PMCC. I can't get this information. I can't do a census. I can't ask everybody so or test all of the things. So I've got a sample. But does that sample allow me to conclude that there is a linear relationship in the whole population? That's what this tests for. So the null hypothesis is always always that there isn't anything interesting going on rho is zero there is no linear correlation in the whole population none the alternative hypothesis is basically that there is there is some linear relationship between the two variables in the whole population you could have a one-tailed test like this and actively claim that that correlation is positive you could have a one-tailed test the other way and have a negative here less than and um, be claiming that there is a not only is there a linear relationship but it goes downhill as this increases this decreases or you could have a two-tailed test and you could just say I, I'm just, it doesn't matter whether it's positive correlation or negative correlation, there is some correlation. So I'm going to go with the two-tailed test here because all that's being suggested is that there is or is not a linear correlation in the population. Is or isn't. Nobody's saying that it's positive or that it's negative. So I've got a two-tailed test. If I have a two-tailed test, then I need to halve my significance level. So alpha over 2 is 2.5. So I've got 2.5% significance. Now I need the value of my test statistic so that I can look at it and see whether or not it suggests that there is or isn't a linear relationship in the population. So you would use your calculator, type all this in, that's on the other video, we don't need to go over all of that. And using the calculator, we get R, not rho, R is 0.340. Now that looks a bit rubbish. It's quite near zero. It's positive, but it doesn't, I don't think that's going to be weird. And that's what we're doing with hypothesis testing. We're saying, okay, if there's no correlation, then how come I got a really high PMCC from my sample? That would be significant. That would be weird. We'd reject H0. In this case, we've got a pretty low PMCC from our sample. So I think we're probably not going to be able to reject H0. And we are going to be sticking with the conclusion that there is no correlation between age and salary, which is what the H0 is saying. But that's what these tables tell us. So you go to your table and you will see across the top all of the significance levels. We're looking for 0.025. And then down here, all of the Ns, and that's your sample size. Here it's 10. So you'd go to 0 0.025 and 10 and read in like that. Personally, I recommend using a ruler because otherwise these tables, you're going to go and missing. So be very careful when you're reading off the tables and you will see here a value of, the critical value of R is 0 0.6319. Okay, what does that tell us? It means that anything between 0 0.6319 and 1 is sufficiently weird enough for us to reject H0. If we were looking at the other end, so say we'd got minus 0.94, obviously that isn't up here, that would be down here weirdness level. So where in the table it says 0.6319, it actually means plus or minus, both are critical values. And then you would compare what we got with the critical values and see whether or not we're in the critical region. Here's the critical regions there and there because it's a two-tailed test, so I've got two critical regions and two critical values, plus or minus this guy here from the table. Right, that is basically it. Now we just need to do our conclusion. So we need to compare, first of all, we're gonna compare those two values, and then we're gonna say whether or not we're rejecting H0, 
and then we need to say in context, what does that actually mean for us to reject H0 or not reject H0? Compare. So 0 0.340, that's the sample PMCC, is smaller than 0 0.6319. Okay, so it is not in that critical region there. And 0 0.340 is bigger than minus 0 0.6319. Another way of saying that is that 0 0.340 is between the critical values and anything between the critical values is not interesting. It's not significant. It doesn't suggest that we should reject H0. So do we reject H0? No, there is not enough evidence to reject H0. OK, what does that actually mean in context? It means that there is not enough evidence that there is not a linear correlation. So we are not going to reject this. We can't reject this. And so we don't have evidence that there is a linear correlation between age and salary. Now, what does that mean? Does it mean that the suggestion is correct or the suggestion is not correct? The suggestion is there is no correlation. Test this. The suggestion is correct. 